Hey or hey again, this is Andy from potatoesandpearls.com and in this video I am going to show you how I make my falafel in the air fryer. This is a two day technically recipe if you want to make it right and you want to make it good but it is really easy and I'm going to show you how to make delicious crispy falafel right after this. I've already completed day one of this recipe just because it's pretty boring. You're going to soak your dried chickpeas in water. I normally do about a cup and a half of chickpeas to a cup and a half of water. When they soak, they're going to like absorb the water. Um, I let it sit for about 24 hours with cling wrap in the refrigerator and then I let it drain for a few hours uh, just in a strainer just to get any excess water out. You're going to get a more crispy falafel that way. So once I have let it sit to drain for a little bit, I go ahead and take a cup and a half of the drained chickpeas and put it into my food processor. I break this up into chunks just so I make sure that everything gets blended properly. With the chickpeas absorbing the water and everything like that, it kind of doubles in size so you end up with a lot more chickpeas. I hope that made sense. I use about a half a cup of chickpea flour. Chickpea flour is going to make this taste way better and once again be crispy. So you want to use that instead of regular flour. It's not too expensive. I get mine at Whole Foods. And then I like to add in a little bit of cumin and turmeric uh, just for that like Middle Eastern flavor. And that's probably about a tablespoon of each. Depending on your flavor palette, you can add in more or less or none at all. If you don't like either one of those flavors, you can put in garlic, you can put in onions, you can put in whatever you like. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up in the food processor and do my other batches as well. This is all of the batches blended up in the food processor. Uh, it took about three separate batches to get everything blended up. This is where I add in my salt. I like to do my salt once I've done everything just because I can make sure it's a more even distribution of salt instead of like dumping salt into each batch and potentially making my falafel saltier and saltier and saltier. And then I just make sure I get that salt blended in and now I'm going to test the consistency and it's nice and sticky and I'm going to go ahead and roll up the falafel balls so what I do is I normally just get a small pan and spray it with a little bit of cooking spray just so it doesn't stick but the falafel balls don't really get too too sticky uh, it's kind of like working almost with a less sticky biscuit dough uh, that's kind of how the consistency is as well it's gonna kind of stick to your hands but not as bad as like unfloured biscuit dough if that makes sense if I'm talking to any bakers out there so I'm just rolling little balls uh, whatever I feel is the best size for what I plan to use these for. And so here is some of the falafel I rolled up. Uh, they're probably about like one, maybe a little under an inch in size. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the air fryer. So with my air fryer, once again, you want to make sure that the whatever you're cooking is spaced out. The purpose of an air fryer is the air is doing the cooking and the air can't cook the food if the food is piled on top of each other. And that's just how you have to think about an air fryer. So I just make sure there's enough space. I like to put in just a little bit of olive oil just to add to the crispiness and make sure it's not going to stick to the bottom of my air fryer, but you're not 
drenching it in oil is just enough to keep it not sticky and you're gonna put it in there for uh, for 15 minutes on 350 degrees and we're done I normally make my falafel in a few batches just to make sure that there's enough air to move around in the air fryer plus I have a smaller air fryer so I have to work in smaller batches I'll link my air fryer down below in the description box I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love to eat my falafel on a salad with some feta some tzatziki and some hummus if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I make food content here. I make travel content here on a weekly basis. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if that's for you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.